This episode of Tech Zulu is brought to you by Where to Get Engaged. LinkedIn guru over here, I big tried. time. I tried. So, so tell tell us about your session then, because people, you know, obviously can't be here. So, sure, yeah. give us some top tips. Tell people how you can use LinkedIn better. I mean, you want the best tips, or you just want like, yes. I want the stuff tip. that you don't tell anybody else. The stuff LinkedIn doesn't want you to know. Yeah, that I want the good stuff. stuff. The dirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the big um, secrets. Well, basically, here's something I told about in my session that really got people excited is if you have like a certain keyword that people search for you, like on Google or anywhere, like say um, TV or marketing or advertising, right? Whatever your profession is, I can show people how to become one of the top ranked people on LinkedIn for a certain keyword. So mine is sports. Yeah, so if you type in sports in the people search on LinkedIn, huh? I'm the first profile that comes up out of like 500,000 results. Oh my God. And it's pretty easy to do, it's just not too many people know how to do it. So hopefully these people are taking some notes down. So um, here's what you want to do. Okay. There's five places in your LinkedIn profile that you want to add this keyword, whatever it is. Have the keyword in your mind. It can be one or two. So it could be like sports marketing or okay. advertising or business coach or something like that. Whatever you think your audience would be searching for right. to hire you or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. So the five places you want to have it in your profile. One is the headline. You've got to have the keyword in there. Two is your current work experience. Three is the past work experience. Four is the summary and five is the specialties. So there's five different sections. And it kind of works like, um, like a web page, right? So when you search a keyword in Google, mm -hmm. you know, if anyone knows about SEO, who's listening in, like the most relevant thing is like the SEO top. search engine optimization. There you go, right? So it's like, it's kind of based off of that. The top of your profile is the most relevant than the things that go down. Like, right. so you want to have the stuff at the top and then make sure it trickles down. So, mm -hmm. but the, if you test that out, you should rank, move up in the rankings on the first page within minutes. Within minutes? I think like seven people did it during my session and like three of them were number one and then a few were like number two and three. Wow. And they were like calling it out. They were like amazed that they had the instant gratification. Yeah, so. Wow. So it, it's SEO for LinkedIn. Basically, yeah. But so there's 50 million people on LinkedIn. So people are searching for people all the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's a good point to make. 50 million? Five zero million. Wow. You know, and that, that's really important because everyone kind of, these days you hear, oh, LinkedIn, it's all about Facebook. Right. They so what, what's your boring. response to that? Well, I think LinkedIn is the most powerful social networking platform right now. And it's one of the most viral. It's even more viral. Well, it's more viral than Facebook in some ways. Right. Not as viral as YouTube. It just kind of depends how you use it, in my opinion. But there's just so many quality individuals on there yeah. who are looking for what you're trying to do, right? Who are looking for what you have to offer. And it's just a great way to get your brand out there and your company. And it's good for you know just generating leads too. I mean, I'm shocked by the amount of people that create a group, and then you know start pushing content to that group. And if you mm. administrate that group, you get all those contacts. So many. I mean, I have like ten different groups that I created, right? And one has twenty thousand connect, twenty thousand people in it, and it's called the Sports Industry Network, right? And so I've got 20,000 of the top sports executives from around the world. You just, all the and and you, you did that for free? You didn't buy a free. list from anyone? Nope. And uh, I send them out a message once a week for free, 20,000 people. And they get an article back to my sports website, free content. And I'm just continuing to be on the top of their mind, adding value. And I'm getting so many speaking opportunities from colleges, from companies. And all I'm doing is just providing value and, and building up the network. So. It's powerful. You have nine other groups beyond that one too, yeah, huh? Yeah. How do you manage all that? Uh, it takes a lot of time. I've, I've kind of lacked on like uh, most of them. I just really work on the one because it's my largest, but you know. So tell me a little bit more about some other things you can proactively use LinkedIn for because sure. a lot of people, they, they, they create the profile and then they just leave and they don't go back to it yeah. unless somebody adds them as a, as a contact. Yeah. So how can you proactively use LinkedIn? Yeah, exactly right. I mean, a lot of people say that LinkedIn doesn't work for them, and then I ask them the question, well, what are you actually doing on LinkedIn? And they say, well, I created a profile, but I haven't done much in three months. They're just expecting things to come to them. Yeah. But you really need to take action. How else can you use LinkedIn proactively? There's a guy that I, uh, you can ask a lot of questions and answer a lot of questions. Yeah. And I'll give you an example of why this works. There was a guy, I asked a question a while ago, it was probably a year ago. After he answered my question, I said, thanks for the answer. Um, are you seeing any results from answering these questions? Because it takes some time. Are you getting any benefit, any value out of it? And he said, you know, I don't have time to do a lot of the social networking stuff, but I found that answering questions gets a lot of opportunities from me. And I said, really, how, how many opportunities? He's like, well, I spend about 15 minutes a day answering questions in my niche on LinkedIn, yeah. 
and I'm getting three to five new clients a month, bringing in 3,000 to 5,000 extra dollars a month wow. in contracting work. So he just focused on one thing that worked for him yeah. and just stuck to it. And did it consistently. That's all it was. So do you think that's what it is? It's not, you know, it's not like you have to go to LinkedIn yep. and do everything no. nope. on LinkedIn. You can find one thing as long as you do it consistently Focus and it will it. work. Yeah. Just add value and be consistent. Wow. That's really, you know, the key to success. So you can, so, so what are some of those things then? So you can either create a group, create and, a group. and build your own list of uh -huh. contacts. You can, you can value them post them. questions, answer questions. Uh -huh. What else? You can add your blog. There's different applications that you add, the advanced applications. Mm -hmm. You can forward introductions for people. You can make connections for people. I mean, the more you add value by giving first to your network, right. the more you're going to receive, obviously. The rule of reciprocity is powerful. Right. The more you give, without asking for anything in return, people are just going to feel inclined to help out in return. So just make introductions for people, connect people that can help each other, and add value, really. So, so how did you become the LinkedIn guru? Really quick story. I uh, <laughs> used to play arena football. Got injured. No, really? You, you don't look like you played football. You, you, no. <laughs> Got injured and uh, had to have surgery. So for six months, I was in a full arm cast from here up to my hands. I couldn't move my arm. I couldn't turn anything. And uh, six months, I got really tired of watching Lost every day. <laughs> and uh, started getting online. Spent about six to eight hours a day using LinkedIn for six months. So I really devoted a lot of my time to learning out how to use it. So, yeah. Well, there you go. So how do people follow you, Lewis? They can go to uh, LinkedInLewis.com to check out my LinkedIn profile. LewisHouse.com or uh, Twitter.com slash H-O-W-E-S. Yeah, L-E-W-I-S. So, yeah, I'm all over the place.